Howdy, YouTube. Hi, Diego. How's my little buddy doing today? Come on, let's go cook something up with Grandpa. pieces of wood and so tea lots are very very cool all right so keep rolling anyone wants to see it? and then we then we can sit back down and I will start again okay so uh That was British Petroleum, started a huge project in uh, Bangalore, India, and uh, that has now gone broke. But uh, that's one of the things, you know, instead of zipping forward, our movement is kind of stalled because both G and Q, the, uh, Q is Phillips, and they also did not go forward. So uh, Shell is the only, which is P is the only big supporter now that's still going forward with, with stove projects. Um, and it's <laughs> Wood stoves are worse. <laughs> you know, uh, we, we have to start testing and really being a new generation of, of people who are, it's all scientifically based, uh, it's based on field testing, lab testing, to show that we're, we're not uh, stretching the truth. Yeah. Is there something though to do with the wood versus charcoal? I mean, when you're doing the combustion efficiency, when you're looking at it like this, because we have charcoal stoves, we have wood stoves, yes. right? we have pellet stoves, I mean the charcoal yeah. stoves, like, I mean even the stoves yeah, are charcoal. I just meant I just meant some of these are wood, you know. Uh, but is there wood? Diapo's getting carbon so credits. The, uh, the charcoal stoves tend to make, especially, uh, so yeah, the GPO's down yeah. there, they make a lot of CO because there's just a big bunch of charcoal and uh, it's not hot enough on top of the charcoal to burn up the CO. So the three stone fire is showing a little more efficiency. Yeah. And all he's measuring is CO. Like he's got CO2 over over CO. But you're right, that's that's charcoal. And so the three stone fire has a big flame over all the charcoal. And so it does a good job of burning up the CO. Yeah. Okay, let's flip over. And so uh, and then emissions, right? So um, in the middle oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. in in the what, <laughs> so in the middle, all those triangles, right? Uh, natural draft wood stoves, uh, and then the open fire is is uh, above them, right? So um, I guess the further to the left, the yeah, down, slide the case, the better. Right. <laughs> and um, so. Anyway, that, that gives you an idea of where we're at, you know, and then, and then the, the fan stoves, right, and the tea light are just obviously a lot better than the, nat, than the rockets and the, the normal stove. So this is why when people look at protecting health and doing a carbon credit project, they start to say, the only thing that's really better than the open fire, you know, really better, 
are these sandstones and, and tilas. And so this is just generally what funders are looking at. This is Yeah, and so um, what happens is that we fill it full of wood and we light it so that everywhere it's lit on top. And so then what happens is the flame naturally rolls so that it completely fills that little circle. And then any gas or any smoke that's made down here has to pass through flame. Boom, clean. And so there's no magic about this. This is really, really good mixing. It's really good. All the gas and smoke enters flame. And that's why tea loads are so clean. Uh, as this burns down, you know, like down, down, down. And people, if you have little air holes down here, then it'll eventually go out. Because once it makes the charcoal, the charcoal doesn't have enough air to keep going. Okay? And then you get biochar, and you can stick biochar in your garden, which will help you. If you have sandy soil, and you don't need an additive for your soil, uh, because it's already all crumbly, then you can add more air holes, okay? and it'll burn up the charcoal. And that way you get full use of the, the energy content in the fuel. So you can pick, do I want the uh, charcoal left over, which has a myriad of uses. You know, you can sell it, you can use it as a uh, soil amendment. Or, if I don't, if I want to use this for longer and use up all the energy in the, in the fuel, then first I burn the wood, and then I burn the charcoal, and I cook for longer. Yes. So, how can you control the flame while you're cooking? You can't. So, really, you, you even in the best ones, some of them have a um, door here, okay? And so the legs, you know, hold it up. I hope that anyone interested in that will probably take two days. Yeah, and then, so we'll start this afternoon by going through kind of design critiques of how you do know where the sun's at and how you can decide how to build it, some of the things. We'll start with that. So, oh, that's cool. So that's, that's fun, and then people can stay with these only if they don't want to or not. So I was thinking that today, um, there's some really, really nice poor people who live on a mountain near here, and they they need a bread oven to make a living. And so I was thinking that today I would uh, do uh, the bread oven. It's and I think that'd be interesting for people to see how do we do the bread oven. And uh, we will make cookies. Okay, so uh, cookies. My ride offers cookies. Um, <laughs> no wood fired oven. Tell us a solar oven. No, solar, solar oven. And we'll make brownies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lee, Lee Greco, raise your hand. Walnuts. Okay, so why don't you describe what you're going to do? We're going to make charcoal. Charcoal? We're going to yeah, use the rocks and brownies for charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and we're going to make uh, 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 <laughs> angel food cake and strawberries. <laughs>
There's Wait, one person on the schedule so far, so you're number two. Great, so yeah, if you want to be on the schedule, talk to Sam on testing. Yeah, everything nice. So, so you're going to do the everything, written down everything nice stove, which is um, a Tila kind of a stove. And uh, then the institutional, so those are first. But remember, testing only takes two hours, so we can probably do you know several tests a day. And the more the merrier, right? So two at the end of two pens. So two pens. Uh, she's probably on her side. Yeah. Okay, so I think the test kitchen is totally cool, and uh, that that people should do that, right? That 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 is a very nice thing to do. And she said that uh, test kitchen is in the bodega. That's using the IP meter, the nose and mouth breathing in. Only two thousand dollars. All projects can afford this thing. Uh, you can use it in the field to see what people are exposed to, but you can also build a test kitchen and then compare stoves by how do they do in the test kitchen. So I I love the IP meter. And so that's Kelly. Oil solar. Uh, uh, maybe I'll start that once the once the um, Red oven is going. Oh, we already had to do it. So, Chunk Tila. All right, I've got uh, some eco pays, and they work all right for pellets, but we're going to burn wood chunks because so you can take a hatchet and you can take wood and you can split it and you can chunk it by yourself, and it and it'll work. And so, we're not going to make gratitude cookies, we're going to make it work. Make it work! <laughs> Woo hoo! Okay. Uh, Rwanda boot. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I need to pull uh, some materials together this afternoon, so uh, I'm looking at uh, later this afternoon or evening. Uh, we're gonna move over. An idea, not a experiment, uh, but we all will be looking. Yeah. We're sanding for the. Chance the lab the right there with the. Two, oh. With the. Uh, okay. One so, the pen, sorry. Now, so. Thank you for watching. See you later, YouTube. Bye, Diego.